heights, Jerry, hundred and less than 128, the world I see holds nothing that I want. The world you see holds nothing that you need to offer you. Nothing that you can use in any way, nor anything at all that serves to give you joy. Believe this thought and you are saved from years of misery, from countless disappointments, and from hopes that turn to, dis to bitter ashes of despair. No one but... M no one but... No one but must accept this thought is true. <laughs> Sometimes it's, I'm sorry. If he would leave the world behind and soar beyond its petty scope and little ways. Each thing you value here is but a chain that binds you to the world and it will serve no other end but this. For everything must serve the purpose you have given it until you see a different purpose there. The only purpose worthy of your mind this world contains is that you pass it by without delaying to perceive some hope where there is none. Be you deceived no more. The world you see holds nothing that you want. Escape today the chains you place upon your mind when you perceive salvation here. For what you value you make part of you as you perceive yourself. All things you seek to make your value greater in your sight limit you further. Hide your worth from you and add another bar across the door that leads to true awareness of self. Let nothing that relates to body thoughts delay your progress to salvation, nor permit temptation to believe the world holds anything you want to hold you back. Nothing is here to cherish. Nothing here is worth one instant of delay and pain, one moment of uncertainty and doubt. The worthless offer nothing. Certainty of worth cannot be found in worthlessness. Today we practice letting go all thoughts of values we have given to the world. We leave it free of purpose. We gave its, we gave its aspects and its phases and its dreams. We hold it purposeless within our minds and loosen it from all we wish it were. Thus do we lift the chains that bar the door to freedom from the world and go beyond all little values and diminished goals. Pause and be still a little while and see how far you raise above the world when you release your mind from chains and let it seek the level where it finds itself at home. It will be grateful to be free a while. It knows where it belongs, but free its wings and it will fly in sureness and in joy to join its holy purpose. Let it rest in its creator, there to be restored to sanity, to freedom, and to love. Give it ten minutes rest three times today. And when your eyes are opened afterwards, you will not value anything you see as much as when you looked at it before. Your whole perspective on the world will shift by just a little every time you let your mind escape its chains. The world is not where it belongs, and you belong where it would be, and where it goes to rest when you release it from the world. Your guide is sure. Open your mind to him. Be still and rest. Protect your mind throughout the day as well, and when you think you see some value in an aspect or an image of the world, refuse to lay this chain upon your mind, but tell yourself with quiet certainty, this will not tempt me to delay myself. The world I see holds nothing that I want. So lesson 128, the world I see holds nothing that I want. Thank you very much for um, joining me in this, um, this, uh, these exercises and this journey. Have a wonderful day. Be well and take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.